Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, so as you can tell, um, not having Derrick Brown definitely hurt our defense. And I'll go on talking about what all happened, but it was overall, it was a terrible game to watch. Terrible game to try to evaluate whatever this team is going to be. Um, but I'll just try to at least break it down for people who definitely did not watch our game because who would want to watch our game willingly? So, um, obviously, not having Derrick Brown, they were able to run down our throats, um, and they were able to get in position that um, Quentin Johnson had a really good game, uh, came out of the release really well, burnt J.C. Horn, and went up 6-0, to zero, but they missed extra points. You know, hey, that's something positive. Not nothing that we did, but, you know, they still, you know, missed the extra point. And then throughout that first part of that first quarter, like, our defense is trying to keep us in the game, but... Our offense is going three and out, three and out, three and out. And that first three and out, honestly, on third down, like Bryce did a good, uh, he, he made a good pass. Just unfortunate, it was a good defensive play. It was only one of a few of actually decent throws that Bryce had today. And I'll talk more about it as the video progresses, but it was not a good day for our offense outside of like, you know, we had a pretty decent run game. Anyways, it's still kind of frustrating. So, obviously, you know, we after that first three and out, uh, punt the ball away, and then J.C. Horn comes in, you know, comes in clutch. Great, great, great interception that he had. Pressure was coming from Clowney, and he was able to, and, you know, J.C. Horn able to redeem himself, sets us up nicely on the Charger side, and... You know, hey, we're only down 6-0, so we can still make this, like, you know, you can either score a touchdown, you can score a field goal, you can make it closer. And unfortunately, you know, nothing happens. Because, like I said, it's three and out for our offense, so pretty much the whole entire first half. And on that third down, you know, Bryce, he was able to escape pressure, good on him. You know, like, he recognized the pressure was coming, and he was able to escape. But then, when it's time to throw it away... And not take a big hit, he didn't do it. And unfortunately, they put us in a punt range. So turnover, did nothing with it. And then also there was a penalty that kind of backed it up. So it was like, it, it was it was a very, very, very messy first quarter. That did not help to the fact that we still could not stop their run game. And we'll still be able to keep on going with J.K. Dobbins, who had a fantastic game. And then on third and goal... Quentin Johnson, easy, easy mesh concept. Nobody picks him up. Wide open for a touchdown. They got 13-0. And it's it's that, that, that's that's where I was it was getting kind of hard because like this is going to the second quarter. Like our defense was trying to keep us in the game, um, trying to get stops when it mattered. Like obviously they were still able to run the ball on us, but it was still a close game. And then in the second then in the second quarter, after getting our first first down. We had not gotten a first down in that game until the four-minute mark of the second quarter. Right after that happened, Bryce throws interception. He tries to throw it in anticipation and throws in double coverage, and it gets picked off. Just bad decision overall, um, and it's just it's 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 very frustrating to watch <sighs> because, like I said. It was 60-0, defense was still doing well, then they score, and then we get a first down. We're now starting to move the ball a little bit, interception, and then a little bit after that is when J.K. Dobbins has his breakaway touchdown, uh, about 40 yards out, like 42 yards out, um, gets the edges, goes down the sidelines, and scores a touchdown. Like I said, he had a great game, 17 carries, 130 yards, and a touchdown. Um the problem that still remains is that our edges are getting dominated. It's it's continuously happening, happening in the Saints game, happening in this game, and it's very frustrating to watch. Um, now, granted, Chargers have amazing tackles. Obviously, Joe Wallace having a great start in his career. Rashawn Slater is another great underrated left tackle. And so it's, it's, it's somewhat understandable, but it's still frustrating to watch. So, obviously, it is 20 to 30. It's, 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 20 to zero and you know it's going in overtime looks absolutely ho horrible um fans in the stands are calling for Andy Dalton it's you know 
you're seeing paper bags over people's faces. It's it's demoralizing not only watching the game but also seeing how the crowd is is, inter is interacting with the game. It's like completely silent. There's no one. There's no one really screaming at the game. If anything, they're screaming against the Panthers. It's it's, it's frustrating to see as a fan base. And so you're hoping that we go for the next step forward. Come out in the second half. You start with the ball. Actually, start moving the ball. You know, we actually, you know, are able to run the ball. Have a, establish a run game. Bryce Bryce makes a make, make makes a great pass, but like I said, it's not one of the few ones that he's made. And then unfortunately, um, it kind of stalls out in the red zone. Basically, um, we, we were held we had to a field goal because even though Bryce Young did a good job checking the protection, uh, changed it because they were bringing a blitz. He was still late on a comeback route. Um, a little bit of a tug here and there, but it's not nothing nothing that really would have been a substantial to call a penalty on. So we had a several field goal. So still 23, still, you know, still three possession game, but at least, you know, there's something positive. We moved something in the right direction. Unfortunately, that was it. That was the only positive thing that we were able to see from the offensive side of the ball the whole entire game was coming out of the second half and that first, you know, the first little bit, the basically all the scripted plays you have to come out in the second half, that's all it was. It was really bad. Um, and they didn't, you know, help that, because we don't have Derrick Brown, because our run defense wasn't good last year, kind of carries over into this year, um, we couldn't stop them. And they were able to drive, drive down the field, and they were able to kick a field goal. So now it's 23-3. And so it's still, you know, still a three-score game, you know, <laughs> down by 20 points. But, you know, maybe we can still do something. We had a, we had a positive drive. We can still make this work. And unfortunately, no, we, we can't. Just it's it, it's it was starting to get frustrated. We had to just kept on punting because literally by this time I think it was like uh, Johnny Hicker's like sixth punt because we couldn't get anything going on offense. <sighs> so not only that, um, but then you get a turnover because yes the Chargers are, are driving down the field, but you know we apply pressure. We finally got a sack. We were able to make Herbert fumble and we get the ball back in. Like okay. Something in the right direction. We got a turnover. We got a second turnover. Let's do something with it. Three and out. Punt. Two times we got turnovers, and each time we had a three and out, not showing really any life. It's either running it up the gut, or it's you know quick passes or stuff like that. So like no, like there's no like you know deep shots or no nothing, nothing kind of stretch of this defense. I mean everyone is just is is not afraid that he's gonna throw it, that he's gonna throw it deep. And it's it's frustrating to watch um, because I, I know that Bryce, yes, obviously Bryce has to put a lot more into his body to throw it deeper, but he can throw it deeper and he can throw it with touch, but he hasn't shown it this year. And it's very frustrating because you saw it somewhat last year. So the things that I thought that Dave Canales would put into the system as far as like we're establishing a run game, it's working, but we're not doing any playoff action, uh, like playoff, there's some, some play action deep shots or even even just like dumps off we had like a little bit of that in the game plan but that never was like a major component of what we were doing as a team and it was very frustrating to watch so like i said didn't do anything anything after that second turnover chargers drive down the field again kick another field goal it's 26 to 3 it's over about this point and the boos start coming into the stadium like i said they were already calling for andy dalton fans are already leaving the stands it's demoralizing to watch obviously everyone around the league is talking about how bad we are and how cheap the tickets are going for and i don't i don't it's it's not panthers fault it's, it's it's not it's not our the fans fault that the thing that's happening that on the field is not good the defense is trying its hardest but like if you're on the field for over like 35 to 40 minutes it's pretty demoralizing for your defense and honestly, you know, like, yeah, uh, Justin Herbert didn't have the best game, but he didn't have to because we, they were able to run the ball. They had over 200 rushing yards against us. Not having Derrick Brown is obviously going to be a big problem throughout the rest of the season, but this is this is horrible to watch. It's frustrating because I know we can be better and we're not being better. And some of the schemes on offense is looking abhorrent. Bryce obviously isn't playing is isn't playing well. 
But like, you know, if you're a Panthers fan, you know that there is some good in Bryce, but it's not being shown. And there's a lot of problems that are being shown on offense as far as we're not executing. We're not executing the game plan, um, whether it be like sometimes, especially the tackles, Icky was ha had a pretty bad game too. Um, he had a he had a holding that that you know that backed us up again. He had a face mask that had us backed up again. That's another thing too. Penalties were awful this game. There were so many times we either got to stop or something like that, but then penalties just kept the drive going along. Like dumb ones. Like there was two like you know hands to the face penalties. This it hands to the face is one of the stupid penalties that it's all on you because there's no there there's no reason for you to go up high like that and to continue to go up high. My main problem that I had was that in the last part of the game, just to try to show anything at all in offense, the final stat line for Bryce is 18 for 26 for 84 yards and an interception. 26 attempts, 84 yards. It just kind of shows you how badly it was for this for this offense to actually try to execute anything down the field. It was all these quick passes, all this kind of stuff. You're not going to win with that. You're not. And as soon as we are actually able to try to go, to try to take shots down the field, our offenses continue to sputter. Our defense is going to be worse because we don't have one of our best players on defense. And so honestly, I'm not gonna put the I'm not gonna tear I'm not gonna put all this on the defense. I'll put about, you know, twenty to thirty percent of the game loss is on the defense, you know. Yes, losing one of your best players, but still they're able to they're able to establish a run game. We couldn't get stops. We were able to get turnovers, but it still like was a very, very important, you know, thing that they were able to kind of control the game. The whole entire rest of the the blame is on offensive scheming and Bryce. Bryce has to play better. That's that's bottom line. We know that last year was absolutely horrible for you. And I agree that I thought that he was going to be better this year. And he hasn't. And even though you can say like, oh, well, you know, things are still bad. No, no, no. I'm still believing in Bryce. I'm not saying I'm not believing in Bryce. But you still have to hold him to a high standard because he is the one that we put the faith in. And he knows that. And he should know that. So anyone who's still, you know, show like not saying that Bryce is, is is still a problem, he is still a big problem, and he has to deliver. I think he can. I want to believe that he can. I don't want to just you know say like oh we're gonna kick it on to the to the next season, but I need to see something. We have a couple of you know tough games coming up. I need to see something from Bryce. To at least be happy about the season. I know things are not going the way that we were at least hoping. I kind of expected this to go on like kind of like a like a slow stretch, but this is this is really hard to watch. And it's hard to watch for a lot of Panthers fans. Everyone around the league thinks we're a laughing stock. Maybe we are. Maybe we'll continue to be. I don't know. I just want to see some kind of improvement over these next couple of games to give me some kind of faith that we're moving in the right direction. But right now, I'm not seeing it. I'm very frustrated, as all Panthers fans should be. Just show us something. And that's going to be it for the video. Um, thank you for watching. If you want to ridicule, you know, in the comments below, you know, I'll, I, I'm not afraid of, like, you know, of uh, seeing your comments and, you know, making my own comments, too. Um, I appreciate y'all watching last, last week's video. Obviously that was a dumpster fire too. Saints look better than they, the Saints look, the Saints look pretty decent. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of surprised by that, but, um, it's, but yeah, it's, it's, it's getting frustrating. Um, and, uh, I'll see y'all next week. Bye.